Instagram is a photo and video sharing app that was launched in 2010 by Kevin Systrom, although it's now owned by Facebook. On Instagram, users can share and view memories from family and friends, from public figures, organizations, and can view products um, that may interest them from around the world. From the beginning, Facebook was um, primarily designed to be an app that features photographs taken on mobile devices. Though Instagram is primarily designed to be a mobile app, there are some limited desktop capabilities. Users can create a personal or a business profile and control their privacy settings um, so they can determine who sees their content and who's allowed to follow them. On uh, Instagram feed, users can post photos, either a single photo or an album of up to 10 and 60 second videos. Uh, there is also Instagram Reels, which is similar to TikTok. Um, on Instagram Reels, you can post shorter videos that are 15, 30, or 60 seconds. Um, and even longer videos, those over 60 seconds, can be shared to Instagram TV, which is called IGTV. Instagram also has a stories section. Uh, this appears at the top of the home screen and is uh, a photo that disappears after 24 hours. Although uh, stories that are posted can be saved as a highlight on the user's profile. Instagram has an interesting and dynamic audience. Um, Instagram is just uh, skews slightly female at 51%, although we do see that Instagram skews dynamically younger in terms of age range. Almost 70% of Instagram users are under the age of 35. Uh, 25 to 34 is the top segment, um, but we do see really strong representation from um, 18 all the way through through 44 years of age. Now, that's a strength. Um, Instagram's visual nature attracts that younger audience. Uh, we typically have our phones, we're out um, you know, doing things and kind of capturing our lives, um, and Instagram is a really great way to showcase what you're doing or where, where you're going, um, so it lends itself really well to live event coverage. Now, based on the topics you're interested in, Instagram will personalize your explore page and your feed. That allows you to see content you're interested in, things you want to see, and it means that your primary audience is more likely to see your content too. There are, of course, some weaknesses. Um, many of Instagram's tools, including publishing, are only available on the mobile app interface. Instagram's web traffic is self-contained. That means that users must engage with their audience on the Instagram app as opposed to using a service like Hootsuite. So that means if someone comments on one of your posts, you have to pick up your phone open the Instagram app and write your response on Instagram. You also can only publish content to Instagram right now from the mobile app interface. Uh, the copy that comes along with an Instagram post does not support clickable links. So this means that if you want someone to visit your website from an Instagram post, you should direct them to the single link that's available in your bio section. Uh, there is a slight reward uh, for accounts over 10,000 followers, you do unlock the ability to link um, URLs in your story. So a little incentive there to have a large Instagram audience. <laughs>